Sutra. Reflect on how I have toyed to repeated ends and endured acute suffering to take across and free stubborn beings who resist being tortured and continue to suffer for their offenses. Those not yet subdued undergo retributions according to their karma. If they fall into the evil destinies and are enduring tremendous suffering, then you should remember the gravity of this entrustment. I am now making to you here in the palace of the Jayashimsha heaven five ways to liberate all beings in the Saha world from now until the time when Maitreya comes into the world. Help them escape suffering forever and go to Buddhas and receive predictions. Commentary reflect on how I have taught to repeated ends an unknowable long period of time and endured acute suffering. You see, Shakyamuni Buddha does not have time to be lazy. This is toil. Suffering means be the, the absence of joy. Toiling and suffering means not being lazy and not seeking happiness. Why? To take across and free stubborn beings who resist being tortured and continue to suffer for their offenses. Do not think that these stubborn beings who resist lessons do not include us. Actually, you and I are among these stubborn beings. Do you realize how much thought and energy Shakyamuni Buddha has spent to teach and transform us to liberate us? Yet we ourselves do not know shame and proudly think it is no big deal. Me is okay, it's fine for Shakyamuni Buddha to work a little bit harder. I don't want to learn Buddhism now, I don't want to cultivate. I want to be a little lazy, sleep a little bit more. We reason and argue for ourselves, being our own defense attorney. Those not yet subdued, not yet liberated, undergo retributions according to their karma. When they fall into the evil destinies, which are the hells, the realm of hungry ghosts and the realm of animals, and uh, endure, enduring tremendous suffering, then you should remember and think about the gravity of this entrustment. I am now earnestly making to you here in the palace of the Chaja Shrimsha heaven five ways to liberate all beings in the Saha world. From now until the time when my Acharya comes into the world, have them escape all suffering forever, and cut to Buddhas and receive predictions of themselves becoming Buddhas. Now let's talk about it. Elder Master Ying Huang. He is a native of Shanxi province in China. After he received the precepts, he went to Potola Mountain for a secluded retreat. His retreat consisted of reading sutras all day. He read the sutras with utmost respect, sitting perfectly upright. He would, change, he would change into a different set of clothing and shoes from the restroom. After he is done in the restroom and finishes cleaning himself, he puts on his clothes and reading for reading the sutras. Even if the restroom is very clean, he nevertheless changes clothes. He never dresses in the attire worn while reading sutras to the restrooms, and he never wears the restroom clothes into the sutra room. He read the sutras respectfully every day. He lived at the Potola Mountain, Kwanin Bodhisattva's way place, for 18 years, reading the sutras every day and never taking one day's break. After reading the sutras for 18 years, he went to Nanjing to lecture on the Amitabha Sutra. Imagine the scene of the Amitabha Sutra lecture. A greatly virtuous and preeminent monk lectures to an empty house. He was pleased that someone was so attentive and asked, Do you understand what I explained? He, is, he asked in his Shanxi accent. This person said, Oh, Dhamma Master, I don't understand. You don't understand? What are you doing here? He said. This person said, 
I am waiting for you to finish speaking the sutra so I can put the benches away. I am the bench keeper, not an audience member for the sutra lectures. Ah, the, the elder drama master was very sad to hear this, and he swore, swore, so never lecture on the sutras in Nanjing again. See, no one listened to the sutra lectures except for one person who waited because he was the bench keeper. Later, Shanghai's forester of Leiti, Leiti invited him to speak on the Amitabha Sutra. He went to Shanghai to speak the Sutra. This time, the audience was larger instead of non-existent. Since Buddhism was not thriving in Nanjing, no one will know about or attend the Sutra lectures without advertisement, even if it was by a greatly virtuous and preeminent monk such as Dharma Master Yun Kuang. In Shanghai, however, some disciples who took refuge with him advertised their Master Sutra lectures. Come and listen, come and listen. They got all the Buddhists together to listen to the drama. There was one 18, 19 or 20 year old student among them. She was not a Buddhist, but she dreamt one night about someone telling her Go to the forest of Leiti to listen to Sutra lectures. Great strength, Bodhisattva is there, propagating the Buddha Dharma, explaining the Amitabha Sutra. The next morning, she read the newspapers and read that Elder Master Yun Kuang was going to lecture on the Amitabha Sutra at the forest of Leiti. How strange! How come I dreamt that it was great strength Bodhisattva speaking the Amitabha Sutra there? She thought she went to listen to the Sutra lectures, bringing many classmates with her too. She told the students that she dreamt that this drama master was great strength Bodhisattva. She did not know who great strength Bodhisattva was so, was, uh, so she asked the Buddhist. What is great strength Bodhisattva? They asked her why she wanted to know. She explained that she heard someone tell her in a dream that great strength Bodhisattva is at Shanghai's forest of Leiti speaking on the Amitabha Sutra. These lay people think, oh, this elder master is a probably great strength Bodhisattva, come again. They told elder master Yin Kuang. A female student had a dream where she was told that you are great strength Bodhisattva and he is speaking on the Amitabha Sutra. The elder master said, nonsense. He scolded these people and no one dared to say any more. Thereafter, this female student took refuge with the elder master Yin Guang. That female student was also told in her dream that great strength Bodhisattva will stay for three more years. He will then disappear. Indeed, three years later, this great strength Bodhisattva, Elder Master Yin Kuang, entered Nirvana in 1944. It was only after his Nirvana that people realized that he was great strength Bodhisattva come again. Elder Master Yun Kuang enjoyed to copy out the text in the Suragama Sutra's Great Strength Bodhisattva's Perfect Penetration through Mindfulness of the Buddha Chapter, the Most. Many lay people own the Master's calligraphy on, his, on this chapter. Elder Dharma Master Yun Kuang is a contemporary enlightened master with great virtue and preeminence. No one can presume that there would be no Ahas 500 years after the Buddha's Nirvana, because here we have someone who was not only an Ahat, but Subhati's Ahat. When Elder Master Yin Kuang entered Nirvana, many Shariras appeared after this cremation. Someone who's, who has not attained the fruit of Ahatship or enlightenment will not leave any Sharira behind. People with Shariras are not ordinary people. Sutra. At that time, all the division bodies of earth stop Bodhisattva that came from all those worlds merged into a single form. Then he wept and said to the Buddha, 
Throughout long ends, I have been receiving the Buddha's guidance and from that have developed inconceivable spiritual power and great wisdom. My division bodies feel warmth as many as grains of sand in millions of billions of countries river in each of those worlds. I transform, transform myself into millions of billions of bodies. Each body rescues millions of billions of people Having them to return respectfully to the triple jewel, escape birth and death forever, and reach the bliss of nirvana. Even if their good deeds within the Buddha drama amount to as little as a strand of hair, a drop of water, a grain of sand, a mud of dust, or a tip of a hair, I will gradually take them across, liberate them, and help them again great benefit. Only I only hope that the world or not one will not be worried about beings in the future who have bad karma. In that way, he addressed the Buddha three images. I only hope that the world or not one will not be worried about beings of the future who have bad karma. At that time, the Buddha praised Earth Star Bodhisattva and said, Excellent, excellent. I will help you in this work you so willingly undertake. When the vast vows that you keep making throughout so many ends are fulfilled and all those beings have been saved, then you will be satisfied as having attained body. Commentary at that time, all the division bodies of Earth Star Bodhisattva that came from all those worlds merged into a single form. Of store bodies that as numerous division bodies originate from a single body. These multitude bodies merged back into one body, hence the past, merged into a single room. Multiple bodies are one body. Our one body is multiple bodies. One body can become multiple bodies, therefore, one body is multiple bodies. Multiple bodies can merge into a body. Therefore, multiple bodies are one body. In more depth, there are neither multiple bodies nor one body. Earth star bodhisattva fundamentally has no body. How can you say there is not a body? He has no mark of self. If he has a mark of, uh, uh, he has a body, then there is mark of self. Because he has no mark of self, many is not many. Although there are many words. Many bodies, many are not many. Although he has one body, one is not one. Therefore, one is many and many are one. Earth star bodhisattva divides into immeasurable bodies and the immeasurable combine into one. Thus, from one body comes immeasurable bodies and immeasurable bodies can become one body. As such, would you say he has a body? If he has a body, picture of his many bodies would say it is the Earth Star Bodhisattva, which body is not Earth Star Bodhisattva. Therefore, we could say every body is that of Earth Star Bodhisattva and is not Earth Star Bodhisattva. How can you say that they all are Earth Star Bodhisattva? The bodies he manifested are that of Earth Star Bodhisattva. He mark, his markless body has no outer truth at all, so they can be said to be not earth star bodhisattva. Furthermore, no matter who it is that wishes to emulate earth star bodhisattva, that person is a division body of earth star bodhisattva and is no different than earth star bodhisattva. Why would you wish to emulate earth star bodhisattva? You admire Earth Star Bodhisattva's actions, his wisdom, and the proper of his vows. Why do you admire him? What is the reason? Actually, you don't know the reasons without my explanation. Actually, although you know the reasons, you do not dare to admit it. Let me tell you, let me verify that you are a division body of Earth Star Bodhisattva. That's why you admire Earth Star Bodhisattva, emulate his aspirations and vows. 
then you are a division body of earth star bodhisattva also only a division body if you can further cultivate according to buddha dharma completely restore the self nature to perfection understand you your mind and see your nature you will enjoy spiritual powers and can return to become one with a star bodhisattva merged into a single body merged into a single form that is what is meant by returning into the source returning to the source and origin